There's that little thin deck of clouds that will dissipate overnight tonight. Then I'm watching this front way out to the west. And when I say that it's way out to the west, it's not going to impact us until late on Tuesday. When it comes in, it will represent some less humid weather, but also has a round of thunderstorms with it. Now overnight tonight, it's not going to get very cold. Look at these overnight lows, just generally in the 70 to 75 degree range. Not record setting, but tomorrow night, they're going to be even warmer out there. All right, how about tomorrow? Tomorrow, warm start to the day, sunny skies all day, near record heat by afternoon with a high temperature around 96. Not out of the question that one or two places could actually touch the 100 degree mark tomorrow afternoon. That's how warm it's going to be. And just a little bit of humidity boosts that temperature up. And that's why the heat index is going to be running so high. So here's the heat index tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. Most places into the triple digits at this point. Then let's advance to tomorrow night. Look at what happens. The heat index is overnight only dropped down in the lower 80s. That's why tomorrow night is going to be a very, very muggy evening for you and very uncomfortable. Then we go into Tuesday. Now Tuesday we go into the triple digits again, but look what happens to the west. That's a cold front coming in and it's going to drop temperatures and humidity off to the west. So that cold front as it moves in is going to fire off a round of thunderstorms as we look at Tuesday afternoon. Let me break it down for you a little more specifically and show you what happens. By about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Showers and thunderstorms to the west start rumbling their way through. We have to keep an eye out. One or two of these could get strong. And there may be some showers that kind of hang around even into Wednesday morning. So right now, it's a marginal risk for severe weather all the way along the I-95 corridor. But keep that in mind, Tuesday afternoon, the weather could get strong. So here's what's going on. For the next two days, I've made them both impact weather days for two reasons. One is the heat and humidity. Tuesday, it's also heat and humidity, but also because of that threat of some thunderstorm during the afternoon. They could be strong. Wednesday, a few scattered thunderstorms. They're still going to hang around a little bit, but not nearly in the severe category. Thursday and Friday, possibly a spot shower or a scattered shower, but the humidity should be dropping and the temperature dropping as well. So as we head towards next weekend, looks like sunshine and not nearly as muggy as what we're going to be dealing with the next couple of days. That's the latest forecast for right now. I'm meteorologist Mike Wonkum.